March 30th, 1951, the famed Kid Gavilan of Havana, Cuba meets Eugene Haston, the deaf mute middleweight from the Bronx, New York. They come out for the first round. That's Haston wearing the white trunks, Kid Gavilan in the black. The speedy kid from Cuba is giving away nearly six pounds and taking on Haston. Gavilan weighs an even 150, Haston 155 and three quarter pounds. Both boys are fast and both are excellent boxers. Gavilan, who usually starts slowly, feeling his man out. Gavilan in the black, Haston in the white. Haston, a full-fledged middleweight. Silent Gene Haston. He takes on all comers. Kid Gavilan moving in. around on orthodox style. Referee is Ray Miller. This is a pretty quick first round. Harrison charging in. Harrison has fought among the light heavies. Out of course among the middleweights. Taking on a well away. There's a warning to Gene Haston to keep his punches up. Gene Haston, a solid two fisted puncher. He's a tough nut near the end of the first round. in the white trunks, Gavilan in the black. The flashy Cuban seems to be leading now after that slow start. Aston has his work cut out for him. Gavilan is not only clever, he can take punches too. Kid Gavilan began fighting when he was very young. He was raised on a sugarcane farm at Camaquay, Cuba. He was 12 or 13 years of age when he started fighting. Matter of fact, he helped put up the ring for his very first fight. Gavilan is a classic boxer. Uses that darting left hand and the right cross right there. Haston is not as quick as Gavilan. That's a good right cross by Gavilan can punch harder than can the key. There's Gavilan beating Haston over the punch. First to the body and then to the head. Got him against the ropes now. Hitting to the body. He switches to the head now, does Kid Gavilan. And finally they're separated by referee Ray Miller. to the head, and he misses the left as Kid Gavilan. Aston fighting back strongly, but he's forced against the ropes once more. And again, they're separated. Gavilan throwing that bolo punch now. Two of the top men in the business today. Gavilan is unquestionably one of the greatest welterweights of all time. That bolo punch once more. Yes, he can take it, though. A right cross by Kid Gavilan. As that bolo, now the right cross. He starts one and throws it the other way. Lightning fast as Kid Gavilan. Gene Haston is strong and tough and durable. Haston is a former Golden Gloves champion. Near the end of round five. Round eight. And so far, it's Gavin. 
Gavilan's fight. In round six and seven, Gavilan continued to run the fight, making Haskin fight his way. But the middleweight from the Bronx is not discouraged. Here in the eighth round, Haskin on the white front, putting everything he's done into a strong finish. apparently knows that Gavilan is leading on points. Ashton moving forward, getting in close on Kid Gavilan. Apparently he has instructions from his corner to work in close.
Gentlemen were still in there swinging at the final bell. And with arms around each other's necks, they walked over to Gavilan's corner. After ten furious rounds, the judges must decide the winner. Announcer Johnny Addy is collecting the official slips, and their decision is reported to be unanimously in favor of Kid Gavilan. It's one of the great fights of his fine career, as he beats a bigger and heavier man, and a very good fighter, too. Eugene Haston, a deaf mute middleweight from the Bronx. 